My name is Elsie. I was recently online looking at a daily beauty preparation routine of Michelle Fantz. And uh, I, yeah, I know I'm a little bit late to the game because this is a big deal online and there are many, many blogs that deal with this. But I was fascinated watching Michelle with her, her nightly preparations, which included, I wrote it down, um, a melting makeup followed by a face splash and a second cleanser, then stripping essential oils, applying an essence using piano tapping, um, and then applying a sheet mask followed by hair oil and a sleeping moisturizing mask. I thought, hmm, that's a lot of trouble to go through on a daily routine just for one's face. And then I thought, yeah, but why just young women? What about middle-aged men? How about some beauty tips for the maintenance of middle-aged men? I mean, you're only grizzled and old once. So then I started thinking, okay, I could make a video about my favorite skin preparation. And I'm going to show you what I do. So the first thing I do is I make sure my face is good and dry. And then I'll use this towel to cover up my shirt because the process is kind of messy. So what I like to use as a cleanser refresher is applesauce. And it doesn't matter which brand, although I, I do recommend that you go with an unsweetened version. You don't really need all that extra sugar. What we're really looking for is the cleansing power of the fruit acid. So I put it in a little bowl and I take a brush and I liberally daub it all over my face, like such. No need to scrimp because, you know, applesauce is not too expensive. And it's nice and cool and refreshing on a hot summer day or evening. And it smells good too. And it reminds me of all those times I went to the orchard to pick apples. Of course, you can lick the brush if you want to. Mm. Yeah, yummy. So now we just leave this on for a couple of minutes after we put it all over ourselves liberally. Let it soak in and take care of all the nasty age wrinkles and the oxidation that occurs to one's skin with the passage of days. It's dripping. Mm. Okay, now the next step is important. After this has been allowed to set up your face, you can apply your night mask. And what I like to use for a night mask is crepes. You know, the kind of thin French pancakes? They go on really nicely and they stick really well if you've applied enough applesauce. Yeah, like so. Now, it may ha happen that you, oh, that one fell off. It may be a good idea to leave like a little eye hole so that you can see what you're doing while the mask is doing its magic. Okay. And if worse comes to worst, uh, you have a, a little uh, apple crepe that you can combine and, you know, sort of eat if you're hungry for a midnight snack. 
Well, the applesauce and the pancake is doing its wonderful work. So, once you finish with this wonderful, refreshing mask, you might not look 40 years younger, but you'll certainly feel 40 years younger. And you know, you don't have to worry about the oiliness of the crepes mixing with the oil of your skin because the acid of the applesauce cuts it very nicely. This is Elsie Wellsy with Beauty Tips for Middle-Aged Males. See you next time.